Hi there. In this video, you'll learn about master pages. Before you add graphics and text frames to a document, you may want to set up the master pages, which serve as templates for your document pages. Any object that you add to a master page automatically appears on the document pages to which the master page has been applied. I have the pages panel here. If you can't see yours, go to window and then pages. The shortcut to show it is Command F12 on a Mac or Control F12 on a PC. By default, the top floor of the Pages panel is assigned to Master Pages and the bottom to the pages of the document. And of course, we can always switch this, something you learned earlier when we discussed the Pages panel. When you create a new document, by default, you'll find two Master Pages here. One is a master, which is automatically assigned to all the pages of the document, and the other one is none. I'll show you how none master page helps in some time. Let's expand this panel for a better view. You can see all our pages have a master applied to them, denoted by the letter A assigned on each page. Let's go to our A master and make a circle using the ellipse tool. Let's also color it pink. And you can see all of the pages automatically got this setting or style copied from a master. Actually, let's drag this ellipse down because it is hidden behind the letter A at this point. Now you should have a clearer view of the circle on each page. Now suppose we don't want page 1 and 2 to have this setting. In fact, we don't want them to have any settings whatsoever. So what we're going to do is holding command on a Mac or control on a PC. We're going to select these two pages by clicking them and then right click and go to apply master to pages. In the pop up, you'll find the pages are selected already. All we need to do is from the apply master drop down, change it to none and hit OK. And you shall find that the circle has vanished from both the pages. There's another way you can apply a particular master to a page. Let's undo the last action with Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a PC. Now click, hold and drag the none master to page one and it shall be applied to it. And do the same thing with page two as well. This is the easiest way you can apply a master to any page of your choice. Let's add a text box on page one and fill some placeholder text to it. When I drag this text box on top of the circle, the circle is behind the text because this circle is a master page element. And by default, master page elements are always behind the page elements. To have the circle on top of the text box, let's double click the A master as it's an A master element and then go to the layers panel. Click the small plus button at the bottom of the layers panel and rename it master A. Now click the small white arrow of layer 1 and you shall find the circle sitting under it. To select this circle, click the small square on the right and it shall be highlighted. Now click, hold and drag it to the master A layer and it shall move. When you click the master A layer now, you shall find the circle sitting there while layer 1 has nothing under it now. Let's go to our page 1 and drag the text box over the circle and you shall find it behind the circle this time. So this is how you can make the master page elements appear on top of the page elements. Let's delete our text box now. What if I want my alternate pages to have different settings? For example, my page 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 to have completely different settings. So what should I do? Let's create another master. To create a new master, right click anywhere on the master section of the pages panel, select the new master option. In the pop-up menu, the prefix will automatically be set to B, although you can change it should you want to. I'd rather keep it as it is. You even have the option of basing it on a master or any other master. And this is a good option, particularly when you want some of your pages to have all the elements of A master and some added elements from B master. But since we don't intend to do that, let's keep it none. Let's change the page size to A5 and orientation to landscape and hit OK. Let me remind you that at this point, we've just created a fresh master page. 
We haven't really applied it to any of our pages. So holding command on a Mac or control on a PC, let's select pages two, four, six, eight, and 10, and then right click and select apply master to pages. And in the pop-up, you can find all of our selected pages. So just go to Apply Master drop-down and select Be Master and hit OK. The moment you hit OK, you'll get a warning stating that the page sizes are different. And at this point, we do have the option to retain the current page size and apply the rest of the settings of the new master. But we're not going to do that. So let's check Apply to All options so that it applies to all the selected pages and then click use master page size option and you shall find our alternate pages are of different size now. So that's how you create a new master with completely different settings at all. Let's go to page one and let's try to move the circle that we see here. You shall find that you're not able to move it. It doesn't even get selected. It's because it's a master element. When we go to a master and then try to move it, it moves freely. To override a master element, all you need to do is hold shift command on a Mac or shift control on a PC and then click and the element will get selected. Let's go back to a master and move the circle to the right. You shall find that the circle has moved on every document a master has been applied to except the first page since we have overridden the master element on that page. Let's change the color of the circle on page one to dark blue. Now let's go to our A master and change the color of the circle to light blue. You'll find our page one still remains disconnected and is not copying the settings of A master. So to bring it back to track and follow the settings or elements of A master, right click the page one thumbnail and select apply master to pages and hit OK. So we are reapplying the settings of A master to page one now. And you could see it's back on track. Applying a master to multiple pages at the same time is also possible and for that, right click anywhere on the master section of the pages panel and select apply master to pages. Here, let's select B master and we're going to apply it to the first five pages. So let's enter one and then a dash and five and hit OK. And since there is going to be a page size clash, InDesign will give you a warning, much like earlier. So check apply to all option and hit use master page size option. And you can see the first five pages now have B master applied to them. Let's have the last five pages on A master. So right click and select apply master to pages and then ensure it's A master you're applying and select six and then a dash and 10 and hit OK. In the warning pop-up, check apply to all and then hit use master page size. And the last five pages will have a master applied to them. Lastly, you can even import master settings from other InDesign documents. So let's go to file and then new and select document. Let's select a letter sized document and hit create. Let's right click the A master and then select master options for A master. From here, let's change the prefix to C since we already have A and B. And also change the number of pages to one because we don't really need two C master pages and then hit OK. Now right click and select new master and add a D master now and change the number of pages to one and hit OK. With C master selected, let's add a text box and fill it with some placeholder text. And then with D master selected, let's add a polygon shape here and fill it with some color. Now let's save the document with demo as the file name. Let's go to our original document. Click the burger menu on the top right of the pages panel and go to master pages and then select load master pages. Load the document that we just saved and hit open. And you can find C and D masters sitting here. Click the C master and drag it to one of the pages here and hit use master page size from the warning pop-up. And you should be able to see the master page being applied on the thumbnail view. Similarly, drag the D master to one of the pages and the D master shall be applied as well. 
To verify, go to those two pages and you shall find the content of C and D masters respectively. So master pages are really important and can save your time and headache to a very large extent, so do use them extensively. All right, guys, that concludes our session and I'll see you in the next one pretty soon. Goodbye.